everybody in Korea wears a lot of logos. So I feel like rather <laughs> yeah. in like, oh, so cringe. you know what I mean? Balenciaga, <laughs> like <Kenza>. everything. <laughs> If this is a trend in Korea and I go like this into America, sometimes my friends are like, what are you like wearing? Uh, and then I'll be like, this isn't even much. This is a lot of my foreigner guy friends say that they're jealous of the freedom that Korean guys have. Uh, because if they wear something like put together, uh, they're like, are you gay? Yeah. Or is it your what? Nowadays, every single luxury brand has an ambassador in K-pop. Yeah. Yes. Long time ago, GD was an ambassador. It was only GD. It was yeah, only it was GD. Only GD. Yeah. Yeah. But only GD. There was this article actually being very critical about new jeans being endorsed by these luxury brands okay. because some of them are even minors. They some are, of them yeah. are barely adults. Yeah. Yeah. When they start wearing and endorsing these yeah. brands, it normalizes. It normalizes. Yeah, the impact that will have upon like the younger generation. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing Korea one slice closer to the world with extraordinary and fun toppings. Welcome to KPC Korean Pizza Club. I'm your host, David, here, and we have our regulars here today. We're the best group. Yes. <laughs> the best. The 150K view group. <laughs> the OG group. <laughs> yeah. But you guys have strong competitors. My last video got 250K. So. Damn. Really? Yeah. Is that the Indian oh, one? Oh, okay. yes. We have to step oh. it up. <laughs> We're yeah. the funniest ones, though. Right. Yeah. And so, cute. Yeah. Give a round of of inter uh, introductions. Yeah. Round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> applause too, yes. Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a Korean YouTuber. I'm also the CEO of nalvashop.com. I curate everything, Korean clothes and accessories. I ship globally and yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Subini. I am also a YouTuber as well. I am Korean American. I also do K content and I do English radio on the side. Hi guys, I I'm also a Korean YouTuber. My channel is called Kelsey the Korean, and I do Korean content. Yes, and I'm David. I'm from DKDK TV, <laughs> and uh, I realized that I never introduced myself uh, once on <laughs> this. You show. assume <laughs> everyone knows. He you. just yeah. assumes yeah. everybody knows. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of jealous because all the guests uh, that are coming on the show are getting followers except me. So <laughs> like, you already I, have the biggest following. Yeah, shut up. Oh. I need to plug in myself too. <laughs> Go follow just David. Underscore nine two. Okay, I need to drop that 92 <laughs> real quick. But uh, speaking of hype, yeah, speaking of chasing hype, today's topic is going to be Korea's craze in luxury brands. Ooh. Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Is it Gucci? Gucci? Gucci. Louis Gucci. Louis Fendi, Fendi, he Prada. says Gucci kind of funny. Really? What? Gucci. It's Gucci. Gucci. Yeah, like you're <laughs> uh, that's the Korean version. Yeah. Of Gucci. Yeah. Gucci. Prada. Prada. <laughs> Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah. Peragamo. Um, Balenciaga. Anyway. <laughs> okay. yeah. So uh, apparently we're all very uh, knowledgeable in luxury brands. <laughs> but anyways, I got some interesting stats to start okay. with. So I did some research. Okay. So according to Morgan Stanley, mm -hmm. South Koreans are the world's biggest spenders on personal luxury goods per capita. Mm -hmm. And South Korean spending on luxury goods grew 24% in 2022 mm -hmm. to $16.8 billion. That's insane. Or about $325 per capita. This is far more than the $55 and $280 per capita spent by Chinese mm. and American nationals, oh. respectively. So we've topped the Chinese and Americans that in luxury goods crazy. spending. Yeah. I don't think that's a good Out thing. Out of all the aspects, <laughs> this is where we top them. <laughs> and what's interesting enough is during the pandemic, every other country's purchasing in luxury goods Went has down. dropped. Down. But Korea was the only place that yeah. surged. So that's very phenomenal <laughs> there. Oh my God. Crazy. And apparently nowadays, Italy, the home of luxury goods, yeah. mm -hmm. the creative producers and everyone there is saying, quote, South Korea is the place to go. Yeah. Ooh. For luxury oh. shopping. Yeah. No, for, no, to for, for, for to them. them. Too. Uh, yeah. For the brands to yeah, market. Yeah. 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 So that's um, why all the luxury brands that choosing K pop idols and exactly. actors for ambassadors. Yes. We're going to talk about that a little yeah. bit later. But, anyways, what do you think is driving the Korean craze? for these luxury brands? Is it like a status symbol or a way to express someone's personality? What do you think is the motive mm. behind like buying so much of luxury goods? Have you bought luxury goods before? I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. I'm a yes, 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 <laughs> okay. yes we're as well. All, yes. We're all guilty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do well, you think I the definitely reasons? don't think it's a way to express yourself because mm. like the trend seems to be if you really want to express yourself in a unique way, you can thrift or secondhand shop mm -hmm. instead of buying these mass-produced luxury goods. So it's definitely like a sign of status. Mm. And I think Korean people do that because there isn't much appreciation for uniqueness or individuality. Mm -hmm. So for instance, my mom once handed me down like her, one of her like diamond rings, which was like a <sighs> jewelry. Whoa. And and when I was wearing it in Korea, it's not like the most um, up-to-date style because mm -hmm, it's like the mm -hmm. old uh. kind of style because she got it like 20 years ago. So no one was like complimenting me on yeah, that diamond's ring. Diamond's a diamond. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but it doesn't look very cheap. I should have brought it. Does, it. But does. like, whereas when I'm in Europe or in North America, people are like, oh my God, that ring is so cute. And they uh. would still compliment me even though it's not like a Cartier ring okay. or like a clearly distinctive luxury brand mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in Korea, nobody cares unless it looks like Tiffany's okay, or okay. like a, a luxury brand. So what you're saying is maybe I can uh, interpret it as like there's a certain trend or hype going on with certain brands and you have to be like up to date with that mm, or yes. else you seem like outdated yes, or in and that that uh, applies to luxury brands as well. Yeah. yeah. And I also feel like it is a way of like showing status, as you said, but everybody in Korea wears a lot of logos. So I feel like rather <laughs> yeah. in like, oh, so cringe. you know what I mean? It's really a thing because in like other, you know, countries, they might have like a subtle thing. You might not know what they're wearing. It might be really expensive, right? right. But in yeah. Korea, it's like, you know exactly which <laughs> brand you are wearing. Balenciaga. Yeah, the, like, everything. <laughs> you just know. And everyone's just like, oh, that person's wearing like, Louis Vuitton or that person's wearing blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And I think they just want to show that. Yeah. I don't see any... And like the reaction is not like, oh, it's cringe. Everyone's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everyone's think, like, oh. Yeah. I actually made a video about like Apkujang Orange tribe, Orange tribe orange. in the oh, yeah, 90s. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. And because Korea grew from like, you know, after the war in the 50s, like third world it, country. it was, we were literally yeah. building the country up and Seoul was devastated. It was like bombed. And, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, it, we were literally building from the ground up. So, Relatively compared to like other countries like the UK or the US or other European countries, we our wealth has grown in such a small amount of time. Mm -hmm. So everyone is still relatively so much more new money yeah. compared to yeah. like generations of like the Kennedys yes. yeah. in the yeah. US yeah. or whatever. They have it's generations money, of wealth. Yeah. Korea is not like this. Right. Everyone's oh still God, really so new money. So everyone really is still into this flex culture. Like I'm doing well for myself. I need to show that I'm doing well. Oh, my God, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> I am wealthy. And like, um, yeah, on TikTok, there's this trend of like, quiet luxury oh that's luxury true. brands where it's like you know it's really subtle but it's yeah. like mega but, expensive yeah, but nobody yeah. knows the brand yeah. that's like more like 10 that's like the trend now yeah but in korea still everyone loves the fendi the all the logos like it mm. turns me off when i see a guy in like head oh to God, toe logo right. i'm just like i feel like he's making up for something like he has low self-esteem or yeah. Right. And oftentimes it doesn't look good. Like no. uh, like two years ago, it was such a trend in my university and guys would wear like this Kenzo sweatshirt and it has <laughs> this giant Kenzo written and with this super big tiger right. and it just doesn't look good. Well, like, there's like Gucci t-shirts uh, that everyone yeah. wore yeah. with the branding. I was but just I like, think oh. it is new money behavior. Like it the whole philosophy of Korea is like, yeah. there's not a lot of subtleness. It, yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird though. Not even the logos. They even wear the same stuff. Like the, oh literally God, the yes. same mm. t-shirts, the same yeah. bags mm. and everything. Yeah. yeah. There's like one staple design in each luxury and mm -hmm. they buy just that one. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because when my mom is watching the K-dramas, like when uh, actress of her age comes out with this new Louis Vuitton bag or something, mm -hmm. that gets sold out yeah. in like 10 minutes yeah. after the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And all the Gangnam, Apgujong, <laughs> Samonims, the rich ladies, rich ladies yeah. just like reserve them through their like personal assistance yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And like with the statistic you said earlier, cause you know, like also the golfing, mm -hmm. like where golf yeah. wear in market is like the biggest market. Uh -huh. South Korea has it's the growing, biggest. Yeah. You have to, if you want to go golf, you have to wear a certain brand. You have to wear <laughs> yeah. like these pretty clothes. Otherwise Otherwise, people will judge you. They're right. like, oh, what is she wearing? What is he wearing? That's yeah. not what you're meant to be seen. It's like insane. Insanity. My broke ass could never. Wow. <laughs> yeah, seriously, insanity. Just like, it doesn't matter. Mm. But seriously. I do know people who are genuinely really into fashion. And mm -hmm. they yeah. do wear expensive stuff without the logo or logo. But, yeah. Yeah, but you know, they make it look good if it has a big yeah. logo. I mean... <laughs> yeah. yeah. So speaking of fashion, though, like, do you think there's a fashion aspect of it, too? Because we've all talked about, like, the critical sides of why people are uh, wearing luxury brands too. But like a lot of global people tend to say that Koreans are so fashion savvy and they're mm. very fashionable. So do you think like luxury brands are another way to be fashionable as well? 
Yeah, of course, there are some brands that have this philosophy within their design. Mm -hmm. And if you like the philosophy of maybe it's like comfort wear or if it's like, oh, my God, gender equality and females can have like bags and like pants or like mm -hmm. workwear or whatever. Maybe some people do appreciate that and buy into that value of philosophy. Mm -hmm. But I would say from my personal experience, most Korean <laughs> people don't really look that deep into it. I agree. And whenever I'm shopping yeah. at like Tiffany's or Cartier's and I go there, they the person who helps me shop, they're like, this is the brand like iconic design and uh, you should buy this one because everyone will know that it's yes. a Cartier. But I'm like, oh, but I like this design, although it's not as iconic of mm -hmm. this brand. I, mm -hmm. I prefer this, but then she's like, but it's the same price, so you might as well get the iconic one, so everyone knows <laughs> it's that brand. Yeah, and they I'm like, think people <laughs> want to buy the one that everyone else. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right. I don't know. Like, I don't buy luxury brands myself, but like, just looking at my mom, that's the closest person I can get to <laughs> oh my God, who same. buys luxury goods. But she's always like, "Oh, all the other ajumas have this new Saint Laurent bag, <gasps> and it's like this, you know, new FF season, whatever." Well, it's like, and FW? seriously, it's like with yeah, whatever. I, I don't know. SS or FW. Oh, Sake season. <laughs> But seriously, it's not it's, it's with everything. My cousin, when she had a baby, she was like, oh, but I can't get any pram. I have to buy this designer pram that all the moms have. And I yeah. was like... You mean trolley? Yeah, trolley mm -hmm. pram. Uh, 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 uh. I was just like, you can't take a break. Yeah, and she's <laughs> like, like, should I rent a new bag for a wedding? Because like mine looks outdated and stuff oh like that. Like, oh yeah, there are the designer bag rental services yeah. that you can like rent a bag for like <laughs> three days. So I'm like, mom, yeah. you know the coolest brand in the world is Nike. Go for them. <laughs> yeah, that, that yeah. Don't make you stand or just be out. confident. Also, also, though, like hype streetwear brands have just the amount, same amount of yeah. like hype going into yeah. as luxury brands, like yeah. you know, like Stussy, those Jordans or like Supreme. those, like yep. right, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you were talking about how you think if a lot of people are wearing it for as fashion, fashion. Yeah. as fashion. For that question, I personally do think a lot of people in Korea are they see a lot on TV, right? Like, right. In, you know, idols mm. or dramas and stuff. And I do think that Koreans aren't afraid to try out different trends mm -hmm. as of other countries. Yeah, because, even the guys. Yeah, even the guys. And so a lot of people, when I go, you know, dressed up like how I would, you know, like if this is a trend in Korea and I go like this into America, sometimes my friends are like, what are you like wearing? Uh, and then I'll be like, this isn't even much. This is just right. like very normal in Korea. Yeah. There's people who wear like more excessive, mm -hmm. more trendy, like more over the top clothes. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why maybe in they are allowed to wear those like brands yeah. in Korea as well. Because those brands are sometimes very flashy and Koreans aren't afraid to wear that as right. well. I think that's an interesting point because mm -hmm. whenever I'm talking about beauty standards, fashion or whatsoever, yeah. like there are two two breeds. It's like uh, there are pros and cons. Pros is like you're being very fashion trendy. You're and being bored. very fashion savvy. A lot of people don't dress like that. So the average fashion is like level mm -hmm. is yeah, high yeah. here. But the cons are like, you know, you're very insecure. You you mm. can't sustain yourself without those brands. But yeah. I think Subini pointed out the pro side of it right now because people aren't afraid. And I think that's a way of like catching the trends itself is like self-awareness as well. Like mm -hmm. you want to improve yourself fashion wise. Mm -hmm. A lot of people around the world would be like if someone like, I don't know, Kanye is wearing something or Kardashians are, are mm -hmm. wearing something, they'll be like, oh, that's not for me. That's for celebrities. Yeah. That's too luxury. But Koreans are like, I can be like them too. Like, you know, yeah. I, yeah. I can wear that. I could swahe, digest that. Yeah. Or so, they'll see it and then try to recreate it in a different way, yeah. but a very similar style that the idols or other people would wear it as. Yeah, so and like, naturally, because those designer brands are designed by the most creative and artistic people mm -hmm. in the world, that I think boosts and makes a new kind of dynamic in the fashion industry yeah, here. And yeah, like, I do think that that's a really good pro mm -hmm. because a lot of my foreigner guy friends say that they're jealous of the freedom that Korean guys have. Uh. Because if they wear something like put together, uh. they're like, are you gay? Yeah. Or is it your wedding anniversary? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. why are you trying so hard? Mm -hmm. um, whereas Korean guys can look they can dress like really preppy and really put together yeah. and people are like oh you look nice mm -hmm. whereas in the west like the only acceptable fancy thing you can wear is like um hip hop clothing that's expensive like stussy or something yeah. but if you if mm -hmm. as a guy you were you were to wear like YSL mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. Versace you're like trying way too hard whereas <laughs> yeah. korean guys they have the freedom to, <laughs> to do that yeah. Yeah, yeah, nobody's yeah. gonna judge you actually they're you're gonna have a plus <laughs> to some people yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But that's crazy. Like, uh, for example, like a price of a Chanel bag is increased mm. like ten times yeah. like, oh, over the past year. Or so. it's right. not worth the money, especially now People that I'm working in like wholesale and like mm. I know what the price of like <laughs> materials. It's just like you're paying all that money for the marketing. Yeah, yeah. You're li- yeah. it's not any better the yeah. quality. Okay, yeah. it might be marginally, but like it's definitely not worth that much amount of money. Yeah, yeah. it's really yeah, not. Even considering the status price, it's not that. Much. It's not, and because yeah. of things like Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, they have so many fakes now. It's just like oversaturated. It's, mm-hmm. it's so you see it everywhere. And it's, it's almost, almost like everyone has one. That's yeah. why so I feel like, like more people are diving towards like quiet luxury. Right. Mm-hmm. Like more um, discovered brands like Delvo or yeah, like my my t shirt here is Burberry. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's I'm no just logo. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's he unique. just wanted to let you guys know that he's wearing Burberry. It's yeah, Unico. <laughs> it's Unico. See, see, this is why no. they want Korean people want to let you know what they're wearing. No, <laughs> it's <period>. Uniqlo. <laughs> no, I'm not rich. I'm <laughs> broke, so please sponsor KPC. <laughs> Patreon.com slash free. Give us the money. Pizza yes, club. please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, it's Uniqlo. Uh, oh, where, where was I? I just lost it. But well, um, we don't give oh, oh, Chanel price. Yeah, when you were talking about that, an interesting phenomenon here is open runs. Yes. Oh, have my you, God. Have you yeah. seen that, encountered yeah. that? Yeah. What do you think of that? But to be honest, they, they happen everywhere in New York, really? Paris. Yeah, for like Nike Even drops. for Chanel? Nike drops or okay. like there's a huge oh, those are like specific drops, like, days like Black Friday or like the drop day but mm-hmm. like for Chanel you have to book it now right. like any day any day any week any weekday mm-hmm. you have to like book beforehand mm-hmm. you can't just walk in which is crazy right. uh, but now it, like I, I need the open runs so basically I heard the most popular site is in Myeongdong because they have three big apartment stores like Shinsege, Lotte and like mm-hmm. other places mm-hmm. so basically what they do is they put in their name in like one department store they run to the other department <sighs> store put in their name for that one and that's and like yeah. they keep yeah sometimes that. they hire people yeah. to be in queue for them yeah, yeah and the crazy thing is um, there's like times where it comes in so there could be like a big shipment that comes in at two and you can get lucky and get in like a new mm-hmm. shipment or there, you could be unlucky and not get anything as well so they go literally every day it's just their thing like yeah. resellers in korea because i guess it's worth it though they make money they do resellers. Yeah. They, they do, do. not only resellers though like when i went to the, the hyundai with my mom Mm-mm-mm-mm. and she wanted to go into like a myeongpum luxury store i was just like casually walking in mm-hmm. and this guy stopped me and <laughs> did you make a reservation yeah, are you in the yeah. queue and i'm like no but it's empty yeah, <laughs> like, yeah know, why are you blocking people from going in and it's like mm-hmm. it's not how that works here like yeah they only allow one or two people in at a time to like have that like like private shopping vibe and when i was at the department store with my mom we were like i think it's like they're proud of that like we're booked out because whenever i go to like a lesser known luxury brand like we can walk in and they're like oh welcome and then whenever i go to like a big brand they're like yeah you have to book (laughs) i mean (laughs) they're proud of that as like someone who's like trying to like I watch a lot of videos about you know branding psyche and marketing yeah it's like brands they deliberately do this to the customer so to make them feel like you're uh, unimportant you should be grateful to buy oh, from us yeah. and so there and was this that, one like, incident in Singapore mindset yeah yeah there was this one incident in Singapore where a woman like a mum, she went into one of these like Dior or something she mm. went into a store and then she was treated like absolute crap mm. and so and then she came back home and she told her daughter and her daughter got really angry so the next day she went in and they just like bought out the entire store wow. no it, yeah, exactly. you're doing it's what like, they want it's just like, we 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 won we yeah. are the Reverse actually, psychology. actually they made money off of you because yeah. they, they worked you. on you you the best thing you could have done is to never go and yeah. buy stuff yeah. from there they again made but it you more bought. desirable exactly yeah. and i was like yeah that's reverse so psychology mm-hmm. yeah and yeah. there's like the top notch of that like the top top tiers are basically hermes and yeah. uh, rolex for men mm-hmm. and those two brands uh in particular they don't even sell to people like yeah. they, they let people watch but they don't even have yeah. the products for them ready so yeah. you have to be like a regular customer yeah. and the clerk has to oh, notice yeah. you that's and, what i was gonna say yeah <laughs> and she she or he already knows your name i was like oh you're here and i have a new something yeah. in yeah. stock right now and they show you there and so and RMS, to buy an rms birkin bag you need to have like at least one year relationship with the personal assistant and you yeah. need to have a purchasing history yeah. you need to be on a wait list and then they can you don't even get a choice of the bag they they literally bring you a bag and they're like either take it or like leave it. So is it like that in the UK or the States too? From well from my experience when with I was Rolex, in the yes. UK. With Rolex, Rolex, yes. I mean right now like watches in general 
it's really hard to just get watches. Okay, but bags and other luxury goods, no? When I was living in London, so anytime the huge department stores that was like after yeah. Christmas, there was like a big Boxing Day sale. Mm -hmm. it, 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 everyone, all the Asians, usually Chinese <laughs> and Koreans, yeah. lined up outside the block, and all the other Europeans, they were just like, <laughs> like kind of laughing at them. They're like, why are they so obsessed uh, with this? Yeah. Like. But then in Korea too, you don't need to sometimes wait in line. You, you, you like you said you can be with like the sales associates and stuff, and then they mm -hmm. actually like cacao you. Yeah, and they're like, like, here's some new stuff. Yeah, they're like, here's some new stuff. Like, mm -hmm. do you want us to like set a reservation? And then they take you to like a private room, a private place where you can like try on stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah. it's also like a thing too. Like VIP service in Korea is really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but you know that guys buying luxury stuff just keeps you poor. It does. I mean, it could be an investment. <laughs> it, it could be I an investment. I don't, I don't think so value. because necessarily no. Because usually people that buy luxury goods have enough Way money to, to spend yeah, on that. that yeah. That's like spending Union that Clo well. for me. Mm. So okay, but like the richest, richest people in the world. Steve yeah, but, Jobs, no, but like the, Elon Musk, like things like they Birkins and Rolexes, they go up in value. So yeah. some people consider it like an investment. Mm. And for instance, when I when my mom was trying to buy me a Rolex, we couldn't. It was all sold out. It was all sold. Mm -hmm. out. I, we we literally had to go to a reseller, mm. and it was just like released that year. But we had to pay extra than the yeah. original price just to buy it. And it's been like one or two years now. It's gone even up in value. Yeah, yeah. It's like safer than stocks, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Because they never go out of demand. Once yeah. you reach a certain hierarchy of like luxury, right. yeah. like things like Cartier or like Gucci, they they go down in value, mm. I would say. But like some things just go up, up, up. And in even value. if you want to sell it in the future, you could sell it for the original price that you bought it. Yeah. At. So yeah. in the end, you're not losing too much. Yeah, yeah. I, that's a that's very interesting too because a lot of my friends actually have that mentality when they're buying. So yeah. I'm like, why are you buying that expensive shit? And like, they're like, they buy? I, I can sell it on Diesel Mania or whatever. Like mm. you know, all these jungle. After nara. three years, you you could sell it for the same. Yeah. Price. My yeah, advice yeah. would be just save money and don't buy like the mid tier ones because you're gonna lose money. Just save a big chunk and just buy the top brand. Right. Then you will actually not lose. Money. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Right. Well. But yeah. it, it's it's very interesting to see my friends. Like they, what buy, do they buy I don't know. For men, it's like mostly like Stone Island, that kind of stuff. Okay. And mm -hmm. they buy like a bunch of it in their wardrobe. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and like, how do you afford all of this? And they're like, it's okay, I'll sell them like one year later and uh mm. buy new that clothes. That still goes down in value though. Clothing yeah. does. The clothing goes down. Yeah, so it's it's I, I just don't understand. But if you're like a really luxury maniac, sometimes you sell your old stuff and then reinvest that to buy a new one and mm. you yeah, can yeah. update That's what that. they're yeah, doing. They update yeah. their clothes. Mm. Yeah. Oh my god. That, selling that stuff is too time yeah, it's so intense. annoying. Yeah. It's, it's, a hassle. Hassle. it's work. Yeah. It's a hassle. <sighs> Why would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I think at that point it's like they're a hobby. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. But like what do you think is the biggest difference between between Korean luxury goods consumer behavior and like more globally? It's about like the new money thing. It's about like the new psyche money? and the mm. flex culture. Like my friends in London, for example, they saw a girl walking around with like a Chanel bag. They're like, oh my God, I just would never spend that much money on a bag. They're not impressed with the logo. They're like, she's a girl who has spent that much money mm. on a bag. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. what they think of those people. They're they just, like, I'd rather spend the money on like mortgage towards a house or like a car or like, I mean, it's very more yeah, adult. Yeah. 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 I, I told you the stats before that we've surpassed Chinese and Americans. Yeah. So that's this kind tiny of a, country. That's kind of a problem. That no? is kind like, of a problem. Isn't that alerting? Like Chinese people, they're infamous for new money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Notorious for spending on luxury goods. Yeah. But Korea as a tiny country. That's kind of scary. Yeah. How did we do that? Yeah. Well, it's per capita, but still. How but do we still, do that? Yeah. yeah. How do we do that? But it starts with at such a young age, even like. I taught mm. on like a hagwon before, like the kids would be like, oh, what car does your mom drive? What car does <laughs> yeah. your dad drive? My mom drives this car. Like my mom recently bought this. So it's it, starting from a young age, they're just kind of like, it's like a show off mentality. Like I got more than you or whatever. Mm. And then it goes into like high school, you grow up and then mm. it's like a competition type, not a competition, but it kind mm. of is because yeah. you're put in that type of It's just so normalized. Yeah, it's so normalized. And I was kind of like shook too, because they're like, oh, like, where do you live? My mom? Like, do you drive? My mom mm. drives this car. Mm. And it's just yeah. starting from such a young age. These so. 12 year old kids know every single model of Porsche, Benz, yeah, and they everything. Do. Yeah. And then they like, they're like have like a specific brand that they like, you know, and yeah. they ask yeah. their like parents, oh, can I have oh like this shoe for, you know, Christmas? Yeah. Like, my friends yeah. had this shoe. Why so. is our Mercedes a C class? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, do you like think? E -class? Like, 
do you think it's because like the MZ generation of like the general youth of not just Korea but like worldwide it's like the thought of like buying a house mm. so anytime soon is so like I'm never gonna reach it never gonna get there mm -mm -mm. so that everyone's just kind of like YOLO like I'm just gonna buy this oh, buy this Anna, I don't care Anna's actually diving deep into the psyche yeah. today like it's yeah, like, very insightful yeah I, I think I actually, there's some truth to that there is yeah. the YOLO trend has been very big in Korea. Yeah. People have given up. There's yeah. no hope. So like might as well spend. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why it leads to all like low birth rates, no marriage, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Our oh, first so topic. Yeah. So and then instead they're spending on themselves with luxury goods. Mm -hmm. So wow, the but vanity. But I also think this too is um, parents already have a house for their kids. I mean, some parents yeah. already mm -hmm. have like, you know, a house ready for their kids when they are married. Mm -hmm. So with the extra money, they're investing in or putting into different stuff is what I'm saying. These spoiled kids. Yes, oh. it really like, is. Because I know a lot of people who already have like, you know, houses and stuff. So they're spending it on different things, not yeah. just trying to buy another house because they already have a house. Do but you know the interesting I mean? thing is like, there are mm -hmm. people with disposable income all over the world, mm -mm. but Korean people tend to spend that towards luxury goods. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, okay. other people will spend it on like either making new businesses yeah. mm -hmm. or like or stocks or, or like, like other assets. Experiences. Yeah, experiences. Yeah. But I think the reason why Korea's capital of luxury goods went up during the pandemic because nobody could travel. Mm -hmm. So the travel money went into instead buying mm -hmm. luxury stuff. But that that should yeah. be the same for all the other countries too. But. Yeah, all the other countries, they were like, we're going to relax but from the other spending. Countries, uh, my dad works at an automobile company. Like the car sales went up all over the world uh. because people are now upgrading their cars. But mm -hmm. luxury, like only Korea was still like, like selling out like hotcakes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think in the West, the, the perceived perception was like, we're stuck in our house because especially the West, there was lockdown, massive lockdown. Mm -hmm. Korea never really had it. Mm -hmm. Everyone was just stuck in their house and then everyone realized like, my bags, all these luxury bags I have in my yeah. house are kind of meaningless. That's true. Mm -hmm. They're just sitting there. You're not, you can't mm -hmm. wear them anyway. You're just locked up in your house. They're like, okay, what do I actually value in my life? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so my luxury spending. they're like a family camping car or yeah. something. Um, right. Yeah. yeah. But circling back to the Gen Z thing, um, Gen Generation M and Z too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to include M because I'm M myself. <laughs> but okay, M Z generation. You know, there's a famous term in Korea called tinkor breaker, right? Mm. It's like backbone breaker, spine breaker, spine breaker, a spine breaker of your parents. You don't know that. It's a Before we go on, a special thanks to the sponsor of this episode, Naked Soul, bringing Korea into your hands with authentic, curated, made in Korea products you can't get on Amazon. They have fast global shipping, and right now. As of April 1st, they are having a limited sale on super high quality BTS D Festa photo books, celebrating BTS Jimin's successful solo album release. So go check it out along with other hip Korean products you can't find anywhere else other than Naked Soul. Boss ass you know, there's a famous term in Korea called tinkor breaker, right? Mm. It's like backbone breaker, spine breaker, <laughs> spine breaker, a spine <laughs> breaker of your parents. Right. Oh. You don't know that? Oh. It's it means like those spoiled kids who ask so much of like money wise to their parents. So mm. their spine, the parents' spine is like just mm. cracking from all the burden okay, okay, okay. and the work. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it, it's actually a BTS song. Go check it yeah. out. Um, <laughs> check but, it out. Yeah. But like we had that term back in my days. It was nothing. Like I wanted my parents to buy me a North Face padding, mm. a padded jacket. But that's it, still expensive. Yeah, it still is that's expensive. like $400. Mine was like $600. Okay. Oh. And everyone had those. Yeah. And I wanted them too. Isn't I that crazy? Everyone, 30 people in the class, everyone had yeah, them. Yeah, I didn't yeah. want a Uniqlo or, <laughs> you know, no <laughs> brand padded jacket, although yeah. they all have the same goose down and everything. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, better, better technology. Yeah, also. but like we had social hierarchy with a number <laughs> on the North Face padding. Oh, I know. Like the serial Luke number. C, like, yeah, like yeah 700, 800. Yeah. Oh, really? White yeah, yeah. label. Oh, my God. So yeah, I wanted label. an 800 and I was like, mom, can I get one of those? And I admit to having that. But oh nowadays, gosh. it's not even that. It's like literally the Paris and Italy Milano brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah, they're yeah, requesting for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard. So they're like, oh, if I don't have a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton or anything, like I'm going to get left out and people are look, going to look down on me. So that's happening in, even among kids. Yeah. I have a friend, family friend and of a daughter and she is like 13 and she's like so cute. I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. And then she was like, Anni, it's my birthday next week. I'm like, yeah, do you want anything? And she was like, oh, I, I want lip balm because she's not allowed to do makeup yet. I'm like, oh, okay. And then she was like, she sent me this link of this Dior lip balm. <laughs> she's like, I yeah, want yeah, this one. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Why do, do they, you have how to? How do they already know the stuff? Yeah, just use a... <laughs> 
Just what? use Bert's bees. Chapstick. Yeah, just use chapstick, man. <laughs> but yeah. I feel, like, I feel <laughs> like, I don't know, this is my personal experience. I feel like I was more obsessed with this kind of thing when I was in my teens. <laughs> Okay. Because like, I feel like you have much less self worth as a teenager. Yeah. You're still trying to figure yourself out. But still, you didn't. You didn't want Dior or. No, I think I Prada. felt like I was more obsessed with the thought of designer stuff when I was really? growing up in my teens. Yeah, I'm much okay. more or less. Like, I don't give a shit now. Okay. But well, like in my mm-hmm. teens, definitely, yeah, I was more obsessed. Yeah. Apparently, there's another stat here that uh, actually this is a global trend in Ooh. general. Because according to the researchers, the first luxury brand purchase happens at age 15. For Gen oh. Z, and that's three to five years faster than the millennial generation. Mm-hmm. And there are reports saying that the MZ generation are going to cover eighty percent of the luxury sales by two thousand thirty. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's skyrocketing right now. So definitely MZ mm-hmm. are just using spending all their money. Mm-hmm. I don't know their parents' money on luxury goods. So it's a global thing happening in Korea too. A little bit too wild. Yeah. I also want to say too that with social media, young kids nowadays are making money a lot faster than mm-hmm. like we, what we were making money mm-hmm. at, like the age. Because you know, for us, we would have to like work somewhere, like go to do a job, like Arba. But then nowadays, there's social media where a lot of younger generation and Gen Zs are making so much more money. So they're going to be at their house or like their family house. So they're with that money. That's why they're probably spending it on themselves. Well, I just have such a minority though. Yeah. People yeah, yeah, that are yeah, 15 yeah. and can buy their own luxury stuff. I think that's really. So hard. I think what we can tap onto that is it's a valid point because you guys both have valid points because that's a very small minority. Yeah. But those are like the influencers of that group. Mm-hmm. So when those like 1% of the Gen Z like get rich over social media and they spend over luxury goods, that spirals into social media and their audience the kids influenced. and then the younger Watch kids that. who are the same age as them or yeah. their friends are going to be like oh she's our age yeah. and she's buying i want to be like this. her i want to be like her because nowadays a lot of social media stars are like the role models or whatever true for the, this generation true so. especially on tiktok and yeah, everything exactly. like exactly another thing i think is influencing especially the younger generation is definitely going back to what anna said the k-pop celebrities oh yes and the just celebrities in korea mm-hmm. Um, nowadays, every single luxury brand has an ambassador in K-pop. Yeah. Yes. If there are four members in one group, especially Blackpink, mm-hmm. <laughs> they all have endorsements from respectively yeah. different yeah. bands. BTS has different brands as well. Mm-hmm. So it's just crazy how I'm this is I'm surprised they didn't start doing this sooner, you know. I mean, they relatively... did a long time ago. GD was an ambassador. It was before. only GD. It was yeah, only it was GD. Only GD. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but only for like the past year, like everyone is an ambassador. Yeah, so like yeah. back in the days, like during my K pop era, it was like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> like she. GD was invited to Paris for like the Chanel yeah. event. Yeah, and or it was something. Like, a big deal. Oh Such a big honor. Like yeah. it was like headlines after yeah. headlines. But nowadays, everyone's like going to yeah. all yeah. these. Uh, even New Jeans, which is like a relatively new brand, yes. they already have like sponsor mm-hmm. so it's right. like a rite of passage almost to k-pop mm-hmm. i'm right. sort of happy for them though. so i'm so glad <laughs> you brought up new jeans because that was where i was going to there was this article actually being very critical about new jeans being endorsed by these luxury brands okay. because some of them are even minors they some are, of them yeah. are barely adults yep. yeah. and they're like the rising icons for the mz generation right mm-hmm. now and when they start wearing and endorsing these yeah. brands it normalizes it normalizes yeah the impact that will have upon like the younger generation yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna just yeah but also from like a marketing point of view almost like people who are older and have money they want to seem young so when the ambassador is like a young person they're like mm. oh my gosh chanel is like this new young vibe now mm-hmm. so they it's like they want to buy it more whereas if it's like a old person like promoting it like old elderly person they're like mm, like i don't That's i want to so be hipster yeah, yeah, i want to yeah. be hipster <laughs> mm-hmm. i agree yeah so new jeans wow like imagine getting endorsed by chanel at the age of 15 16. i wonder how much money they make already <laughs> That's That's crazy. Crazy. I'm GD jealous. must be crying right now. And he's like, <laughs> I paved the way for y'all. <laughs> you know? He did, he did. But it's just crazy to think about that Blackpink four members, they all have four respective brands yep. because I don't know how these luxury brands would agree on doing that because they're so like, they have like a certain amount of prestige in their brand, right? So <laughs> there's one K-pop group, but each 
different member gets a competitor brand mm. endorsing. That, I don't I don't know how that works, but mm. I guess like the power yeah, of I, thought, K- I think it makes more sense if one group does one brand. Yeah, that's like, what imagine I imagine if one direction, the five members, they each have like their own. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't so, I don't even know if they have like, no non compete. I feel like huh? I think so. I don't brand, like, there's so much in demand, the group itself, like the brands don't don't are not in a position to ask for yeah, exclusivity. That, that's exactly what I'm thinking. They, everyone just wants a chunk of the pie. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of eye-opening to see these luxury brands actually stooping down mm-hmm. and wanting these K-pop idols so much that they would go to the extent of breaking like these non-compete clauses and giving mm-hmm. shoving their brands to like these members, mm-hmm. each one of them. But yeah. I think it's also good if it's like still some companies like that it's really high end like Hermes, they they don't do endorsements. Oh, that's true. But I think it's good for like companies like Dior and Chanel to be showcased in the same brand because it might be seen as competitive, but it's like when you see those brands together, it looks like all of them looks better together. Mm-hmm. It's like we're collaborating right now mm-hmm. and it's just better than each of us just doing our own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's like mm-hmm. it ups the whole um, image of all of those four brands, right. I think. But I also did hear that a lot of the idols ask their like managers or PR people to connect them with a certain brand that they mm-hmm. like. So it's not always just the luxury brands picking these idols. Oh. Sometimes the idols as well, they you know say oh i like they like ask okay well there's these brands like which would you want to you know be an ambassador for and then i'll talk to them so there's yeah. also that type of conversation i recently well. saw a video about jungkook specifically yeah, yeah. uh that he did not receive any of the luxury brands that were that contacted him okay mm-hmm. and he was like i'm i'm i don't like this brand i personally mm-hmm. have no connection to it i'm not going to do it mm-hmm. and the one brand he took recently was calvin klein because oh, he okay. actually likes it mm-hmm. oh my and, i wish i could be that big yeah because like it's the same thing with youtubers we have like people who are connecting us right. and blah 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 yeah. and oftentimes like i'll do it even mm. if that brand does is not problematic yeah, yeah. even if i don't like the brand yeah i would like still be like yeah sure because we need the monies yeah, <laughs> yeah. but exactly. that, isn't that such a boss move like it is jk he is a different kind. he yeah, deleted his old instagram <laughs> he didn't take luxury brand yeah. endorsements <laughs> and wow but that's not common even with people with money they, it's no one does that yeah even v does celine you know with yeah. lisa together what a world <laughs> we're living in it's crazy mm. yeah but i did notice my friends in who live in the west they did did say they noticed that like Asian advertising in general it mm. seems a lot more like person focused mm-hmm. like it's more like a lot depends on the influencer oh, mm-hmm. that's true rather I than agree. the US it's like more product focused or they'll just like, use like a model but that's yeah. like a it's not you don't like, know who the model no, is it's like yeah. you don't see yeah. Brad Pitt like advertising <laughs> for like or like Scarlett Johansson whereas yeah. celebrity is like Korea is like everyone is like celebrity focused right. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's more much more of like the marketing tactic uh-huh. that's what my friends in the it West it really notice. is a marketing thing too I I think even so. at the Louis Vuitton show this time around there was so many celebrities yeah. there it was just like celebrity like heaven it's, like everybody yeah. was endorsed by it so it's like day after day nowadays like I just scroll through Instagram and there was this event in Han Nam Dong with like this flagship store new mm-hmm. luxury brand launched Jay Park was there everyone was there like someone new jeans performed yeah. it's like a mm-hmm. K-pop party party there mm. i don't know what's happening with k-pop i thought it was for kids but mm-hmm. apparently mm-hmm. because it, the main audience tar- uh, shifted towards the mz generation mm. now the ambassadors are changing too i yeah. really do think if the, it will affect the kids who see all this media consume all this media all yeah. the time because you're just feeling like okay my life is not like this mm-hmm. i yeah. can't you can't help your, but it's compare yourself to that mm-hmm. that yeah. is like the ideal what the what is portrayed as the ideal yeah and like for me, like I, because I, yeah, for me, I've like seen the whole world kind of. I've lived in different parts of the world, so I have like a perspective on this. Mm-hmm. But I feel like if, I imagine if I just grew up in Korea and just like I grew up surrounded by this all the time, I'll feel you feeling really like competitive or like not good enough or like, Mm-mm. you know, like this all the time. So I yeah, guess. but speaking about all of these topics, I actually want to do like a reality check now because mm-hmm. I don't know anybody who is very like into luxury goods. Mm-hmm. Like, what about your friends in general? Like, do they? actually spend a lot of money on luxury goods like well, everyone buys like from money. time to time what's a lot of time money? to time like what's a lot of money <laughs> i don't know standards are different <laughs> but for me even spending more than two thousand dollars a month on luxury goods would be a lot mm. yeah oh, I think per a month lot. yeah a monthly so it's like a yeah. regular occurrence yeah i think it depends on the age as well because people who are way older i know um in, you know in galleria the yeah in the galleria if you want to become like a vip there you have to spend at least like yuck a year or something two hundred thousand dollars two hundred k like mm. around that amount of money but i know a lot of people who actually do spend that amount of money mm-hmm. on luxury goods. 
So, I mean, if you have the like, if yeah, you, if you can if afford you, yeah, your yeah, lifestyle, saying, can yeah, afford yeah. it. So I think it's with the lifestyle and like the age yeah. as well, because you know, not people like our age aren't yeah. spending that amount of money. It's like people yeah. who are a lot yeah. older. Yeah. Because for people my age, I'm 25. Like they just graduated and they're earning like maybe four thousand USD a month. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's yeah. a good thing. Mm-hmm. So they're not gonna spend two thousand. Four thousand a month. That's a lot. That's, that's not that's like really Samsung, good. Samsung Hyundai pay. Yeah, that's less than less than it is. But like my alumni, they get good jobs, but they don't spend it like on luxuries. So the it's only like the older people that yeah. I know that spend a lot. Actually, yeah. okay, maybe uh, this is a very controversial topic, but mm-hmm. okay, I'm going to take the risk. <laughs> cancel, I, cancel. I, I'm not poor shaming, okay? But what I've noticed, this is based on my observation. Mm-hmm. Actually, more than people who earn good earnings, like Kelsey's friends, like people who do part-time jobs and don't <gasps> earn that much yeah. actually spend more on luxury goods yeah. on my observation. That's too. the thing. The marketing, the luxury brands is targeting the mid-tier because people. Because you think you have to prove something. Yeah. I always get surprised when I go get, so my, get my nails done or my lashes done because, well, I don't know their wealth, but all of those nail people, yeah. like they have always have like the most expensive bags and like yeah yeah and i'm like i don't think seriously like, the ma- the luxury brand marketing is targeting those people who want to <sighs> appear crazy. like right it's so manipulative don't like marketing <laughs> is everything branding <laughs> as a person who's like yeah it works it's so interesting it's like how do you get people to buy your product in such a you know, you follow the movement. Yeah. It's so it's, interesting to me. Yeah. Anna has a Buddha in front of her right now. So perfect. <laughs> be like Buddha. Yeah, be content. We're all going to die in turn. You can't validation. take any of this shit with you into the afterlife. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good moral there. Um, okay, David. But if, somebody, if, you could buy, if somebody could just give you any luxury product, no questions asked. What would you choose? Uh, definitely a car. What car? car? A Porsche. No, I think no, gonna no, say no. It. What Porsche? Uh, a nine one one or a Taycan. I don't know. Okay. Or or an Aston Martin. <laughs> oh damn. So my philosophy Tyken, is Tyken's yeah. My philosophy is I'm saving up for of course a house and everything, all the essentials too. But like I'm saving up for essentially a car only because okay. there's a saying for dudes: once you get that car, if you buy all the kacha, what do you call them? Fake. If you fake buy goods. all the fake. Uh, luxury, luxury products so afterwards true. everyone will believe those are real i like, know a guy who drove a g-wagon but then i was like oh i like your shirt it was like a balenciaga he's like oh this is fake and i was like <laughs> i was like oh okay like, yeah people really believe it's fake. real yeah, yeah. because you drive a nice oh, car so yeah. for guys <laughs> for guys that apply so i'm just uh, gonna get a ferrari and okay, then okay, yeah. buy all those hong kong you <laughs> know people uh, in korea though there's a thing called like kapo too like yeah, yeah. Right. it's a really nice car oh, but then God. like you like live inside your car so people it's not lease that cars and it's like only like fashion as well it's with even stuff like luxury yeah, cars, cars are luxury goods too so, so car pours baby prams everything what's yeah. baby prams trolleys, like trolleys. trolleys. Ah, there's like luxury trolleys. brands ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah my my for me i just want like a really nice ass house seriously big ass huge ass nice ass house yeah mm-hmm. how many asses <laughs> <laughs> how many <laughs> nice ass big ass nice ass. <laughs> but I we get it. Like, okay. I want to be like in LA for that kind of house, like with like a big garden Malibu, and swimming pool. Yeah. yeah, girl, that's 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 a lot. I LA is ooh, a lot. Of so money. is Seoul, but like you can't get a pool in Seoul, like yeah. with a nice garden. Yeah. You can't. This, this luxury term even extends to apartment brands too. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, it's in the end, it's just like what you want. I yeah, guess. everyone wants to live in like Samsung, Remyan, or you know i park hyundai whatever yeah. <laughs> no, if i'm really rich though i don't want to live in an apartment i want my own like be away from all the yeah people. but in seoul there's not many options yeah yeah, yeah so. so this like jungle which is why i think he's so flex mm. he built his own entire house in mm. oh one. damn i'm just like that's what i would do if i were here i like, want to be like jungle yeah me too yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's so carefree. Yeah, but yeah. in the meantime, I'm accepting all sponsors. So, uh, <laughs> Korean too. Pizza Club at us. gmail.com. So we can so grow. Funny. Yeah, it's very cheap audio inserts <laughs> for you guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. So one last question before we end it, though. Like, since we're in the era of online shopping, oh. and I've witnessed a lot of online shopping with luxury goods, too. We couldn't think of that in the conventional era, right? Yeah. Like, luxury goods, you always had to go to those 
stores.、Mm. Have you had experience or seen people doing like online shopping for luxury goods?、Hmm. Yeah, there's also secondhand market like Cream these yeah, days. Cream, yeah, like Essence. Like Essence has、mm. like a lot of luxury brands.、Mm-hmm. So I know a lot of my friends who go shopping on there because they do go on sale, and it's really hard for luxury brands to go on sale because you're not going to be having on sale products when you go to the actual store.、Mm-hmm. So that's why they do a lot of online shopping because、mm-hmm. they already bought those items from like so it's like a secondhand, so they can actually. Make it a lot cheaper、mm. to sell the luxury brands. Do you think because the new younger generation is so digital friendly,、mm. do you think that has an effect? Because like online shopping is offering luxury goods, the sales are going up because yeah, of it's easier to buy. You、easier、can just order like five Dior products, and then it just comes to your、Whoa. house. So it's like. More accessible, but but like most people that I know, maybe because they're like older、yeah. and like more like Karen-y, they、mm. want to have that experience of going in the store I, I and getting that treatment. I still don't think you can buy Hermes or Chanel online. Oh no, no, you no, 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 you can't. Only certain、oh, brands. You can buy Chanel on Cream. Oh really? Yeah, but is that second hand? Is that authentic? That's not. Yeah, it's it's not second. I mean, it is second,、like、but you, it's like it comes with the certificate. Yes, but you can't buy from Chanel dot com like a product.、Uh, so、can't. they basically like a lot. Of, I know people. You you can with like certain items. Yeah, yeah but yeah. not like a bag. No,、what? you can't. Yeah, maybe, you have to buy that at the store. I think you can buy like small other goods、yeah. or like clothing.、Uh, yeah, but then、um, yeah, they show Chanel bags on cream, so you、mm-hmm. have to send them the authentication card, the box that it came with, everything, and、yeah. then they authentify it. And then they yeah, but that、uh, is still secondhand. Technically,、yeah. it's not coming straight from the Chanel warehouse. Yeah, but I'm telling you, secondhand is something more expensive because there's literally no stock. Yeah, yeah、oh, there's no right, stock right. left, so people will be willing、Those、to pay the retail resale price. Yeah, and there's Rolexes on cream as well. Whoa,、yeah. whoa! But I, I, like a cream investor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sponsor cream, us. Sponsor us. Yeah.、Um, but I've seen my mom. This was very bizarre to me.、Uh, it was like at 2 a.m. She was watching TV, and I was like, "What are you watching?" And she was watching home shopping, <laughs> and they were selling some luxury brands there. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? Literally bags of like the big brands. Okay. Yeah, and I was like. Do they sell luxury bags on home shopping? Doesn't、nowadays? that cheapen the brand though? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They were selling Gucci and stuff, and I was like, I, I thought home shopping has a reputation of like not、Bargain. so good、yeah. products. But my mom was like, no, like all the Ajumas buy it through home shopping <laughs> these, these days, <laughs> and she was considering to buy one. I was like, I shut the TV down, <laughs> <laughs> but,、uh, go to sleep, mom. <laughs> But yeah, that was a very interesting scene too、mm-hmm. through home shopping.、Mm-hmm. So nowadays, you can just get access to luxury brands everywhere. It's everywhere, everywhere,、yeah. plastered on the streets as well. So, I think the message is true: internal happiness comes from your own inner peace and not these external <laughs> things. Okay, once、Buddha. you realize、peace、that. So- Don't fall for the、I'm、marketing、so、and the、stoic. branding. That it's literally, literally designed to manipulate your mind. <laughs> Can you hold this and say that? But buy from naked Zelda. <laughs> no, no, do do the message thing again. Look, see Buddha. He has total inner peace. <laughs> he cannot. All these, all these luxury goods. When you die, it's literally meaningless. Nobody's going to remember that you had them. So inspirational. Be like Buddha. Just have love for everyone. Live a good, peaceful life. That's it. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you can get this specific pensive Buddha on NakedSoul. dot <laughs> kr. It was on. Okay, choose a side. Are you gonna be consumerist or fucking spiritual? I check out NalphaShop. dot com. It was on Ginny's Kitchen in specific. <laughs> BTSV played with it. Park Sojun played with it. Choi Woo-shik played with it. So <laughs> go check it out. <laughs> I gotta get some dough myself too, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. And speaking of BTS too, you can get these BTS photo books on NakedSoul. dot kr as well. So yeah,、uh, shout out to the sponsor of this podcast episode, Naked Soul. Yeah.、Uh, anyways,、uh, thank you, Anna, for wrapping that up with an awesome message. <laughs> But, But I also want to say, if you want to spend、yeah. your money, it doesn't matter. To like,、yeah. no one is judging you at the same time. If that gives you happiness as well, you can spend it. Yeah, but just、that. don't do it because like. Even when you don't have disposable income, yeah,、right. some don't people go fall into, into that trap. That's、yep. dumb. Yeah, yeah, just.、Mm. Yeah. If your lifestyle can support it, okay, go ahead, but、right. don't go into debt for this. I,、no. I think there was this thumb of rule or something on the internet circulating. Ten percent. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Saying that if you have ten times amount of that to Then, spend yes, in your、ahead. account, go ahead、mm. yeah. for luxury goods as well. So if you don't have that. Nope. I don't think so.、Nope. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's not、helpful. worth spending like three paychecks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But last question though, which is the most desirable brand、This、right is, now? Isn't it easy? What is it? Okay, Chanel. Chanel?、Really? Is it、yeah. Chanel for、no. you? If you could get Rolex. Rolex. Yeah. I would say Hermes. Hermes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What do you think is the most trending and popping brand right now in Korea? Well, it depends on、like、which、Vuitton. sector. Louis Vuitton for sure. Um. 
just go on with whatever sector you want to say. Yeah. I would say Louis Vuitton because their apparel line has been trending a lot, mm -hmm. um, especially with just like the fashion show that they had in Seoul. Mm -hmm. A lot of consumers are trying to go more into that um, mm. Louis Vuitton as well. I think Chanel is mainstream in Korea. Yeah, yeah. the mainstream is the main. Chanel's mainstream everywhere, right? It's yeah. mainstream everywhere. It's yeah. instantly recognizable. What do you think, Anna? Yeah, yeah, Chanel. I think instantly recognizable yeah. brand. I don't, I don't know if this is a luxury brand, but nowadays I've been seeing a lot of diesel. Yes. Uh, the new yeah. diesel that's like, logo That's not thing. luxury, though. It's not luxury, but a lot of K-pop celebrities trendy, yeah. and stuff. It's Y2K. Yeah, yeah, so that kind of stuff. Mm. Anyways, go check them out yeah. <laughs> if you have the money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so thanks for tuning in for Korean Pizza Club. It was episode eight. The best was, episode. Thank you for the 12,000 subscribers already. Ooh. Let's hit 100K within this uh, year. And yes. uh, oh, and also please give us five star reviews on Apple I actually Podcasts, did. Spotify Podcast. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to say this, but I uh people say this is very important. Yeah. <laughs> so, Give okay. it five stars. I'm a newbie to podcasts. So please boost us and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.